Hi guys, welcome to my home sweet classroom. I am new to the YouTube family and if you are just visiting, my name is Maritza Lara and I teach fourth grade. Now, I would like to share with you some things I am grateful for. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I am extremely and enormously grateful for being a teacher. I love what I do and I love sharing it with others. So. Let's dive right in. And mentors in the past have been such an inspiration to me um, and have really tagged along with me throughout my journey through my, the past years that I have been teaching. Uh, I, my mentor that I first had when I first started, actually in my internship, she had, I always reflect back in on her and think about her every now and then and really think about how she was an influence in my life and how she really influenced me and prepared me for teaching. Um, I was, I currently teach fourth grade and actually during my internship I taught, I was doing, a, I was in a fourth grade classroom and she was just so great and I think that really gave me a really good foundation for how it was going to be in the future and all these years that I've been teaching. Um, now, the past teachers that I've had as gr growing up, and my mom's even a teacher, um, she, they, it really has impacted me and how I perceive myself as a teacher, and perhaps others, how I perceive others as myself as an educator. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful for having those experiences and those people in my life. My current colleagues. Now, my current colleagues, um, I, I've only had them, this is my second year at the school I'm at, and I have found my current colleagues to be also a great inspiration. Um, of course, there are a few that I'm a little bit more close to, but they have all given me some kind of education as to how I can better myself as an educator. Uh, collaborating with them has been amazing. Um, I love to share with others what, what I do in my classroom and I love to hear about that from other teachers. That is the biggest thing that, that I take away from any kind of collaboration. Um, so my current colleagues are really important to me and I also team up with them to do reading buddies with my students and uh, team up with them to do projects that we uh, uh, in alignment with them and it, it just has been really great to collaborate with my other colleagues and having them uh, as part of my team has, I'm really grateful for that. My students, now my students are such an inspiration to me. I have given them a sweet treat and I hand wrote their letters to, uh, as a message for, for them to take home and gave them a little sweet treat uh, at the end of the day today. Um, just to, for them to keep, for them to know that I am really grateful for them. Now, I shared with them this morning too in our morning message that I'm enormously grateful for my students. I'm enormously grateful for their kind and sweet, gentle hearts. Um, this year and in the past years, I have been so grateful for all of the grades, in all the grades um, of uh, my students. This year and every year has been different. So I'm a great, I'm enormously grateful for each and every child that I've had throughout these past years. But first of all, they put up with my silly jokes. They put up with um, all the theme lessons that I have, all the activities that I want to do with them, all the work that I want to see put out in the classroom. They really meet all of my expectations. They, they laugh with me. They put their faith in my in in my instruction and in my requirements because I exceed a lot from them and I I expect them to do a lot. And I have been really grateful this year that my students have been doing that since the beginning of the year. And in the end, they reward me with their effort. They reward me with their kindness and gratitude. Year after year, I have been blessed with all of this from each and every classroom I've been in. Um, but after over the years, over the years, I have left my classroom very grateful. I have left each student fe feeling in my heart that I have left each student with a gift, a gift of, of something that they can take away. 
Um, for example, last year I taught first grade in uh, I still see him in the hallway and I hear the second grade teacher now that she tells me all the time that they recall information or recall activities that I did with them that they're really stuck with them. And it, it's just really great to give them a hug in the hallway and wish them a happy happy day or a happy year. And uh, it, it's really nice to know that I've influenced another child in that way. Beyond those, beyond all those great things that I constantly see every day, I'm grateful for the way my students inspire me. I'm grateful for the way that their, their challenges, their persistence, and their desires have really driven my instruction, really given me that inspiration to continue what I'm doing, to continue giving them the best of me so that they can improve and be successful in life be able to carry that with them. And that makes me really happy. That really makes me really grateful for the job that I have, which brings me to my next point, why I am grateful for the job that I have is influencing other kids. My job gives me the opportunity to make a difference, the opportunity to change a life, to change a child. And um, it, it really has made me reflect as to helping the new generation, helping them grow and succeed in school gives, gives them the confidence they need, the ideas that they need to be successful. That knowledge that's gonna go with them every single year has been such an influence in my life. And I think that it has influenced them in a way, in a positive way, I hope, that will they'll be able to take that with them and I'll be able to look back and be like, oh, I really made a difference. I really touched this child's life, that they're able to look back and appreciate that as well. I can't imagine doing anything different. I can't imagine having another job uh, that, hasn't, that doesn't have to do with children. That, that's really my biggest thing. So with all of this gratefulness in the air, I'd like to ask you, what are you grateful for this year? Are there, is there anything that you have special in your heart that you're grateful for whether it be with working with children or or a job that you just so are grateful for i always express this to my parents how grateful i am to have them as parents how how much their support means to me and their child and i also express this to my students that their parents are their world and without them they would not be successful with us being a team as a, in a triangle, me, the parent, and the child, it makes the world of a difference. And I like my students to really appreciate that, to really understand that, and to be grateful for everything that their parents do. Even bringing them to school every day is something that they should be grateful for. But tell me what you're grateful for, and tell me about your, your experiences. What has really impacted you in your life that makes you really appreciate and reflect this year uh, this Thanksgiving holiday that you're grateful for. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gives you a little bit of inspiration and um, you're able to share with your families this year, this Thanksgiving holiday, something that you're truly grateful for. Please subscribe or like this video. I'd really appreciate your feedback and I, I'll see you next time.